is okay. this is my okay guys so we're saying thank you so what's funny about this mural is first things first this is my first uh, public mural like uh-huh. yes i'm a painter yes i'm an artist but this this piece here no matter where i am in the world it will always bring me back home uh-huh. because in my first mural i did it at home yeah let's back up a little bit so we can see the whole thing a little bit because it's so big how yeah. big how, how big is it how many meters what is- uh I'm not sure, you know, it took me about, because we were working in all these pillars, but it was about two weeks doing all of them, but mm-hmm. this was my solo, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, you, you helped other people with their murals, you're saying? Yes, with their murals, because it was a collaborative piece. So mm-hmm. we collaborated in other pieces, and then each artist had one um, artwork for his own, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you see. Well, tell me again now. Uh, uh, tell me, with the, uh, just go again. Well, what the uh, what the piece is? What the piece is about? What inspired you? So the piece is. Um, I had to indicate um, the master's touch to f- to show and communicate um, awareness mm-hmm. of which. If you can see the black and white and how it stands out, that is supposed to be um, the dress. Mm-hmm. And but it's supposed to be shown as in the form of a, um, animal skin. Mm, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I then, see. because la- bees love sunflowers or flowers, mm-hmm. I had to commu- I had to um, justify the top and make it look. You can see the top is black mm-hmm. and white, and then the bees. Oh, so oh, it's the, so the, the top is the bee. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. the head is the sunflower yeah, 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 to yeah. show the, the relationship between um, humans mm-hmm. and the landscape and how, how do we dwell mm-hmm. in the same landscape without interfering with each other and respecting each other's territory and mm-hmm. learning to live with each other. Um, aside the fact that we humans eat mm-hmm. animals, that's just a linear way of looking at it. Do you know well, what you I Well, you know, mean? I look at this and the, 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 the hands suggest a dancer to me but of course it, it, I look down and say oh it is a dancer <laughs> <laughs> why is the dancer more impo- not important but why the dancer why okay I think for me it was a matter of dance is the most spiritual form of art and mm. that is that is not um, debatable dance is spiritual because mm. when you dance there's a time where the dance mm. dance and skips the beat of the music mm-hmm. and I can reference this if you can observe Nina Simone when she dances, it's mm. as if she's not dancing to the song that she's singing mm. or Bob Marley because when greatness arrives, you let go of um, earthly expectations based on how you're supposed to move Mm-mm-mm-mm. on this rhythm that you are given. Mm-hmm. Um, dance is shamans in our tribes dance Mm-mm-mm. to connect um, with the higher power and showing um, vibration and mm. how the body um, reacts based mm-hmm. on how you are feeling and what you are experiencing. Mm-hmm. So for me, it was also a matter of showcase your show, showcase your skills, showcase who you are in the best way you know how, in the best way um, you are said to be. Mm-hmm. Now the dancer is dancing on something that looks like the universe. With, with the planets, what's, 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 what's she dancing on? It's the galaxy. Ah. It's the galaxy, yeah. It's the the dancer dancing on top of the galaxy um, to represent um, supremacy, mm. to represent power. Um, this dancer, um, when you do mm-hmm. your when when you practice your life purpose mm-hmm. automatically, without um, expectations of expecting to be paid for your gift, but when mm. you do what you said to do, mm. automatically you become on top of the world because uh. you have answered your calling, you haven't been in denial of your fate, therefore you meet your destiny effortlessly. Mm. You know? Mm. And mm. that is a mindset we want to propose to people to say, um, I'm not saying people must not work for money, but money isn't all, and money is only one friction of... Um, I would say imitating any yes society is yes yes society to you know what I mean. Mm. Well, it's a beautiful piece, but your concept is like uh, uh, amazing, like that. <laughs> but that, that, you know yeah. that. Yeah, but let, 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 I wanna. You're gonna take me around some other places. Let me stop this for a second. All right. Thank you for this part.